Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. You probably have multiple computing devices, like a smartphone, a laptop, and a desktop, or just a smartphone and a laptop, or a combination of those somehow. And a problem that you've probably had in the past is how do I synchronize files across all of my devices so that I don't have to constantly be transferring with cables, using USB flash drives to move things around, emailing files to myself? Well, Folder sharing isn't new. There have been programs around for many years now where you can take a folder on your desktop, put it on your laptop, put it on your desktop, and have everything synchronized back and forth. But what is new is mobile clients that allow you to do this on your smartphone too. Dropbox has mobile clients for all of the smartphone platforms. So in this video, we're going to show you Dropbox working on Windows Phone, Android, iPhone, and yes, even the iPad. Let's take a look. Now when you download Dropbox, and by the way it's available for Mac and PC and Linux, it will create a Dropbox folder for you that you can put on your desktop or in your documents. The purpose of this folder is to keep everything inside of the folder always in sync. And you get a little green check mark next to all of the items in the folder to tell you that it has been synchronized. So what I'm going to do now is just drag a, a, a photo uh, into this Dropbox and this will synchronize across all of my devices. I'm going to show you uh, the web version next and then we're going to go into the mobile versions. Okay, so here we are in the web interface. It's very simple and this is great because if you're you're at a friend's house and you want to grab a file, a photo, or a document and you don't have Dropbox installed, you just log into the web interface. So if I click on the multimedia here, you'll see that picture that I just placed in the Dropbox folder already synchronized. Let's take a look on mobile devices. Okay, so we're going to start off on Windows Phone, and I should say that Dropbox does not have a standard or a native Windows Phone client, but a company called Ruttonsoft has made something called Cloud Files, which will allow you to access all of your Dropbox content. So I'm going to click on it here, and I'm going to log in. Okay, and here I'm logged in, and here are my two folders, Docs and Multimedia. So I can click on Docs, and I've got a different file type for all of the Microsoft Office suites. So I've got uh, a, a Word document, Excel, and PowerPoint or actually I should say, and also a PDF. So I can click on any of these and jump right into them. And each program gives you different options. So I can view the file and it's going to download and open it up. And here we go, here's the PowerPoint presentation right in the, on, on the device. And we can also open these other things. Here's a PDF, we can view it or we can edit it and it will synchronize across all of the devices. And it's gonna open Adobe Reader 2.5 and well, you get the point. Let's take a look at another device. Let's take a look at Android. So on Android, the client is native, so it's made by Dropbox. So let's go to the Dropbox client. And with Dropbox, you get two gigabytes of space free. And the way that they make money is that they have plans that have a lot more space. Um, so here we go. We are inside of my Dropbox. I've got those two folders. If I go to multimedia, I can open up photos and it's downloading. The download speeds are usually quite fast. Although I must say that um, if you're trying to do multimedia on your smartphone, it doesn't always work too well. So I'm going to take the smallest song here, uh, Foo Fighters, Monkey Wrench, and I'm going to open it in the music player. And it's going to do this for a very long time. I'm over a fast HSDPA connection. So I'd say if you're using the mobile clients of Dropbox, really use it for documents and photos and not so much uh, multimedia because it doesn't seem to be well optimized for that. Okay, let's jump over to the iPhone. Okay, here we are. And again, this is a native client that Dropbox made. It's not a, a plugin or anything like that. So here we go. There are my two folders once again. And it works a little bit different in the iPhone. So we can tap on, a, um, on any of those documents. And we get it in sort of a viewer within the Dropbox application. Not as robust as you will get on a device like a, an Android device or a Windows Phone device that, that has better support for Microsoft Office documents. So we can go into a, an Excel, an XLS uh, spreadsheet. And things don't always display so well, especially on the iPhone. This really doesn't work too well, and it just canceled out. Um, but things like PDFs work pretty well. Actually, very well. The iPhone is very good PDF support. And you get the point. And the same thing applies here to multimedia. So if I try to open a song here, the smallest one here, uh, Foo Fighters, it takes a really long time to access that content. So, so again, for documents, it's great. Not so much for multimedia. Finally, let's check out the iPad version. Okay, so now we're on the iPad. Let's take a look at Dropbox here. So there's the client. And it keeps you logged in, which is quite nice. And here we get a list of my folders on the left side. 
And over on the right, you can see the preview of a document that I had just been looking at. So we can go back to Docs. We can open up any of these things. It is just like the iPhone, really good PDF support. Um, let's go to an Excel spreadsheet, see how it comes up. A little bit, actually a lot bit better uh, than on the iPhone. And we can actually switch between multiple sheets right here, but we really can't do anything to edit uh, the Excel. And if we go back to the other files, the multimedia folder, let's take a look at how a picture comes up. Very nice, right on the right side, makes really good use of screen space. See what happens if I try to open up a song. I think it's actually gonna work. Amazing, and so it actually worked uh, through the iPad, which of course has better hardware than the iPhone to be able to handle this kind of multimedia, bringing it down very quickly. So quite nice on the iPad. So if you're having trouble keeping things in sync and you have multiple computers, you've got files everywhere, try Dropbox, it's free. And with all of these mobile clients, it really changes the way that you use technology, I think, because you can always have those critical documents and critical pictures with you wherever you go synchronized across all of your devices. On pocketnow.com, I'll post further instructions on how to get the Dropbox clients for Windows Phone, iPhone, iPad, and Android. And if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like these videos. That's it for now.